You ready to go? All right, YouTube friends. This is Katie. Some of you actually, it is really, all right. <laughs> Some of you actually spied Katie in a video um, that I did the other day and asked about her. I haven't put her in any videos yet, so this is her YouTube debut. Um, right. Oh, they saw her. I'm fixing Benjamin's shoe so he can come with us. You can't have a video without me. <laughs> That's the wrong foot. Maybe. Yeah, it is. So Katie came out of the woods um, the week we moved here. So it's been now like four or five weeks ago and she was in pretty rough shape um she had clearly very recently had puppies her whole underside was matted she had fleas really bad her eyes were super crusty and she came out of the woods and just within a very short period had completely attached herself to Benjamin. Of course, we were out here a lot outside because our house wasn't set up yet. Um, they were working on it. And I guess the people working on the house kind of started feeding her lunch scraps and stuff. We asked around all around the area, trying to see if she belonged to anybody. Um, she didn't seem very well cared for, but she is a Shizu, so she's like a, you know, I mean, like somebody probably paid money for her. And she chose Benjamin in a really hard way like I mean just immediately everywhere he was she was um, She would follow up to the camper and sleep outside the camper and of course We fed her and Maya at first was like absolutely not We do not need another dog No, but she just kept hanging around so I took her in and got her scanned to see if she had a microchip she didn't and um what we surmised with the vet because they said based on how she looked it looked like she had had puppies about a week before she was out here um showing up and what we think probably happened was that she might have belonged to somebody who was breeding her and you know either something didn't go right or whatever and that she was dumped out here as she was clearly very attached to ben uh, and just very sweet we told the kids that we would keep her they named her katie so now she's been to the vet and been taken care of and has now been groomed so she's looking her best self aren't you katie girl all right come on and Ben is happy because Katie is his little buddy. She follows him around everywhere. <laughs> oh, hey, Tobe. What's up, man? What's up? What are you wearing Asher shoes for? I can't find my shoes, so I was like, I gotta be speedy so I can be in a video. <laughs> I can pick up these and get my fastest way. All right. One thing about living in a rural area that a lot of people don't think about until they do is that there's not animal control that was the case as well at our house in arkansas same thing out here we're living out in a county we're not in city limits yeah y'all can go to the swing i'm gonna go over here and chat with daddy we had a lot of instances unfortunately even in arkansas of dogs being dumped out at our property that people didn't want anymore and they would get dumped out there a lot of cases of pregnant cats showing up or pregnant dogs showing up my first job when I was 12 years old was volunteering at the animal shelter I've always like had a heart for dogs in that situation and wanting to help them and take care of them so I've always tried to like get them to rescues and get them into situations but Katie kind of lucked out by stealing that little dude's heart. I, I looked at her at the vet whenever I first took her to the vet. We got her all taken care of and got her groomed. And, and I looked at her and I was like, girl, <laughs> you landed in the right yard. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. She, she said she landed on the right property, but I think she took a rocket ship and landed here. You think she took a rocket ship and landed in our yard? Yeah. Maybe. She looks a heck of a lot better than she did. She was so crusty, you couldn't even see her eyes. 
yeah, her nice. paws were covered in mats yeah, all underneath. Like chunks of dirt. Yeah, it was really bad. Ooh. She's pretty cute now though, huh? Oh yeah, way better. <laughs> I can actually carry her. Mommy, yeah. let's go to Gabe. Oh, she's rolling in the grass. <laughs> go, you wanna go see Gabe? She's getting fixed here soon. No more pups for this little girl. She's not idea. old. I have an idea. We can go after she and Gabe, we can go down to the pigs. You wanna go down and see the pig? Hey, goaties. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> so I told you guys the other day that we are gonna start working on our driveway. That's what Maya's doing right now. He is moving these piles of scrap and sorting them out and he's loaded up one trailer and we're going to take the scrap and this is all the, the metal stuff we pulled out of this property. So like fencing and old like cattle stuff that was just rusty, bent up and he's going to take it into the scrap yard and, and get some money for it. It won't be a lot but I mean we're about to have to buy a lot of gravel so every little bit <laughs> helps towards that. So he's got the trailer loaded up here and he's sorting stuff out and he's going to be scraping off to make sure we don't drive over any bits of metal and pop our tires. Back up. So I have learned with Maya, my dad, my kids, there is something in a man that is just a little boy whenever he gets on a piece of equipment. And so Jeremiah, I'm sure, is going to do a really thorough job of getting this picked up and scraped. Um, he is very happy anytime he has a reason to drive a piece of equipment. Now, if you look straight ahead right there, that's the entry to our property. And this yard right here is the pig yard or where the pigs are currently, the little pond. And the driveway is going to come straight back here and go all the way and then kind of curve. So I, I did the video to kind of talking about our plan, which had some aerial shots. But in this main pasture here um, in the front, eventually our house will be up here, our, the house we build. And back there in the back corner of the property is the mobile home. Um, but, but the driveway is going to cut through here. To the right of the driveway here is where we're going to do high tunnels up here and then some fruit trees and some different things, in-ground gardens and raised bed gardens, and it's just going to curve with the driveway. You taking a little break from your man toy? Mm. <laughs> My butt's gone numb. <laughs> so, we had a guy come out here today. Um, of course, we have a dump trailer, but with this size of job and the distance to the quarry, when you factor in fuel cost and time involved and the fact that we really need to get this driveway done, we have decided to hire someone to also help bring loads out here of gravel um and we are starting that this week yep. we actually have a, a week that it doesn't look like it's going to be raining a ton we and we're going to get prep. it done first step was get the metal out of where the driveway needs to go and then i'll get it kind of cut and cleaned up and then we've actually got to scrape all the grass out of the drive so hmm. like i'm probably going to have you help me and you're going to have me hang off the back of the four wheel yeah spray we're going right? to paint it and then I figure I've got like a rangefinder or something. I figure we can shoot. Like a straight line? Yeah, and just kind of stay around 80 feet off because that's how far it is from the corner of the pig fence back to that back fence that we're running along. So if we kind of stay close within that range, it'll keep it a consistent curve. Curve, if that makes sense. So Maya's going to get a tape measure because I don't think this is 80 feet deep. I could be wrong, but. I'm usually not. <laughs> what we're doing here is up here by the pigs. And I know it's hard to like grasp this. Um, I'll put a link to our like our plan video where I kind of shared the ideas of what we were going to do here. And we did some aerial shots and stuff in that video. But up here in the front, we're putting two high tunnels. Oh, hey pigs. Hey little pigs. Hey little pig boy. I'm a pig too. Why are they so cute? But I have this really cool image and I've shared this a little bit, but I'm probably gonna repeat myself a lot during this early stages. You'd be surprised how many people come in like 
regularly and they're like, what, you're not in Arkansas anymore? You know, like we'll get these comments and people obviously miss a little bit. This property that we're currently building, this is our homestead. Like this is just our home. And we do want to build a big learning center. That's not here. That is not our goal here. Guys, I've had multiple people ask about our plans. I'm like, well, where are you going to have the learning center? Our vision for our learning center is to build a very large, sustainable farm to be able to teach um, regenerative agriculture, permaculture, not just us teaching. This is a place that we want to have employ multiple people from multiple walks of life with multiple backgrounds and many different things to teach. Um, that is a very large vision. This is just to be our home. So we're talking about setting up a lot here because for right now, I mean, obviously we still do a lot of teaching from here. Um, we always want to be able to grow food and, and we are in setting up all these fruit trees and all these different things. I mean, this is going to be a lot of food and we have a lot of ideas for that, but this is not like the end goal for us as far as the learning center and all that stuff that we want to do. I'm wanting to put two high tunnels up here in the front so we can do gardening all through the winter. I mean, it's pretty mild here. You can pretty well garden outside all through the winter here. So with a little bit of cover, we'll definitely be able to. But I, always want, I also want to be able to start a lot of plants, you know, sell plants and different things. I want to grow citrus. So we're going to do two big high tunnels. I'm and, over there. and this is kind of starting the depth of this whole thing. It's kind of setting the depth. So the two big high tunnels, they'll be the same size as the one at our old house, which is 60 feet long. And we'll add a little extra space to get in and out of that. And beyond that, this whole area is going to be this really cool, I'm calling it a garden belt, because it's going to be 80 feet deep and it's gonna wrap around the driveway in between the driveway and the pastures where the barn is. And I'm just imagining this like really amazing symbiosis between the animals and the garden and, and working together with those two and doing really cool composting efforts, having a lot of perennial stuff here and essentially having a lot of food coming out of this area. I'm even imagining it being like really cool from an aerial shot. Like I want it to be a very artistic, beautiful, functional, space okay i'm gonna turn my camera down so you can see how dark it actually is out here look at that y'all hear my kids hollering they're chasing each other oh it is so beautiful out here y'all want to know something else that's foreign to me that i'm having to get used to i do not know the light yet on this property and of course it changes seasonally um just the time of day you need to be out here to shoot videos that's why i've been out i've been caught out multiple times where it's almost dark and i'm trying to shoot a video because i did not estimate the time well <laughs> that i was gonna need to to get the video shot it get, it seems like it gets dark super fast but i don't know maybe i'm just not really grasping it yet. My husband is getting a tape measure and if I'm wrong and this really is 80 feet, I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> but if he's wrong and it's less than 80 feet, we will never speak of it again. <laughs> here's our neighbor, Papa T. Hey, hey Papa T. He Hi just rode them over here. Hello, kitty. Oh, there's Maddie. Hello. Hey, Maddie. All right, here's the moment of truth. Am I gonna be wrong or right? I think you might be wrong. You think I'm wrong? Yes, I think you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, like, it looks like how big our... All right, we'll see. I already know the results because I can see the gloating look on your face. I don't have a gloating look. <laughs> I can hear it in your look. voice. <laughs> I just want you to come look, right? See where that line is right between the two orange squares? What does that look like? Listen, there's nothing you can change. <laughs> There's no adjustment <laughs> that you can make that makes us less than 80 feet. You can pull tight, you can let it loose, shake it a little bit. What is that? What would you say? <laughs> you Give were, or take a couple you inches. You were right. You were right. Because I built this fence with my own two hands. <laughs> oh my, my sweat and the, my brow. You can let it go. Oh I was right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he was right. It's 80 now feet. Listen, I want you two to know this. This is literally the first time in my whole life, married to Jessica, that this has worked out in my favor. This is literally the only time that I'm like, no, that's 80 feet. And I'm sitting there, so I'm, I built this fence. I measured it. I triple checked it. And then I built it. And I'm still questioning myself walking back to get the measure because she's like, no, that ain't 80 feet. I've been wrong so many times. I have post-traumatic stress from guessing wrong. But this time, 
I'm Enjoy right. it, my but darling. I, I will say, 80 feet out in this big open space looks so much looks smaller. Looks a lot less. On our property, 80 feet was like, oh, that's half the property. <laughs> Bear, those pigs scaring you. Y'all, look at this. Do you know how happy it makes me to see this? That's soil. That is soil. You see that dark? That is a, that just blesses my little heart. See y'all here, we're here escaping. Look at that soil. We have that. We have soil. It's not a lot. It turns to clay a little bit down, but right now, right here on the top, we have a layer of soil. Hey, girly. Yeah, look at her haircut. Look at her. What'd you say? I thought I didn't believe in you. Hey, don't ever apologize for what you believe to be right. Okay. You hear me? <laughs> I was wrong. I can admit that. Hey, I'm glad to know we have 80 feet here instead of the 65 that I thought that it was. It is good to have plenty of space. Sometimes it's good to be wrong. So yeah, our greenhouses are going to fit in here real nice with some space to pull in in front. And we're going to have this 80 foot strip that's going to go all the way down and around. I think it ends up being something like 80 by, I mean, it's a lot. This is a big space. We're going to have trees in here, like dwarf fruit trees and some um, berry bushes. And we're going to grow a lot of food in this space. Right now, it is almost entirely dark. And we're going to finish picking up some of this metal with the last bit of light we have. But thank you guys for hanging out with me today and witnessing my defeat. My, my string of always being right on guessing spaces. <laughs> I bless y'all until next time. <laughs>